I didn't do yesterday's because I'm juggling things and it's hard. It's hard to get everything read and on daily and then make sure that I edit properly and then look semi decent when I do these. So here we go, June 3rd. And I haven't read it either. So it's gonna, we're, we're gonna do it together. The explicit awareness that you are a breathing piece of defecating meat, destined to die, and ultimately no more significant, let's say a lizard or a potato, is not especially uplifting. Sheldon Solomon. Yesterday we explored how we process life's uncertainties, personally. Today we look at how fear affects us socially. Cognitive dissonance is an uncomfortable feeling arising from holding conflicting beliefs or values. Knowing that humans are remarkable and that life's potential is infinite, while also realizing that death is inevitable can be anxiety provoking. Much of human activity is an attempt to ignore or avoid our untenable finitude or finitude. Culture, religion, and procreation suggest continuity and are symbols of our immortality. We can engage in such immortality projects to feel as though we're leaving a lasting impression to say, I was here. Terror management theorists, TMT, study the way people, the ways people avoid confronting the reality of the Grim Reaper. This theory piggybacks on the work of cultural anthropologist Ernest Becker. Denial of Death, his Pulitzer Prize winning book, explores how death anxiety subconsciously triggers some of the worst aspects of human nature as we fight to cope with or deny inev ine inevitability. Culture and society reduce anxiety by means of consensus. World views tell us, don't worry, everything will be okay. Surrounding ourselves with like-minded people reinforces our beliefs. Exhorting our country, religion, recovery program, sports team, or political party as the best also reinforces our denial of death. This works for us just fine until we are confronted with people who hold alternative worldviews. Social psychologists like Solomon find that when our death denying illusion is shaken, fear is the result and we end up the anti demonizing others to prop up our own feeble brands of denial. When escalated, denying our denial can be responsible for many of mankind's greatest atrocities. Ooh, let me read that again. When escalated, denying our denial can be responsible for many of mankind's greatest atrocities. Defending one symbol by vilifying and destroying another compensating for a lack of power by bullying another. Recovery has taught me to cope with seemingly untenable facts of life. I didn't invent denial, but I sure am familiar with it. Do I ever prop my beliefs, culture, fellowship, or home group by putting down another? Wow. Being, I think, being a therapist, I'm not a therapist, but I would have, I, I think it would be very difficult to not have an opinion, right, at times, to be non-judgmental, which I heard is very important when you're in therapy, you know, if you're be listening to somebody. All of this was really good. I had no idea. Um, Cognitive dissonance is an uncomfortable feeling arising from holding 
conflicting beliefs or values. Yes, I know all about that, right? If you're an XJ dub, you know how hard it was to realize that what you were seeing inside of a Kingdom Hall and then what you read in the literature and somehow and sometimes how you were treated because it all conflicted uh because you would see what they were saying which would be like um you know don't sue your brother uh i was just thinking of this there was an elder in my current well in my kingdom hall in huntington beach and there was I went to the Ocean View Congregation in Huntington Beach. And then there was the South and Coastline. There we go. Oh, I can't re I can't believe I actually remembered that. Uh so I think it was in the Coastline Congregation. There was a brother there that had been having problems with other brothers and somehow they all kind of beat up on this one particular brother and he lost his home and his business. And we all heard that. It was well known, it, you know, it was gossipy stuff. And it was hard for me, cause I'm like, wait a minute, they're not supposed to, this was what over probably, geez, 25 years ago. And I knew that didn't sound right, but you know, God was there. So you just kind of go with it. I, Culture, religion, procreation suggests continuity in our symbols of our immortality. We can engage in such immortality projects to feel as though we're leaving the lasting impression to say I was here. Uh, I think that's how uh, service was for, for me anyway. You know, like I thought that I was engaging in something that would help bring immortality, right? To other people as well as to myself. So it was, it's interesting how, you know, our society and our culture as Jehovah's Witnesses, how our minds work and we are all different. I, it's so fascinating because we have so many different ways of thinking about paradise. You talk to some people and there, there are some sisters and brothers out there that think that they're going to get their animals back in paradise. I thought I was going to get my child back. Nope. Uh, and you know, heaven, you, we don't believe, we didn't believe in heaven, but there are some people that believed in heaven. I mean, that are on, that are not Jehovah's Witnesses and are for sure that they're going to see their animals. So we all have different belief systems, even as Christians, as when I, when I was a Christian. I, I'm grateful that God is out. So then I can think because there was too much tying me down. I, I, I couldn't separate the badness that was happening in the congregation when i separated god from that yeah it was so much easier and for people who don't you know don't particularly like that that doesn't feel comfortable for them they can't let him go that's okay you know i get it i understand that i couldn't let him go for a while until i saw other groups taking advantage of people that and they were ex Jehovah's Witnesses. And then I was like, oh, this is how it works. I get it. <sighs> and um, human beings, that's how we are. We can do this. Culture and society reduce anxiety by means of consensus. Worldviews tell us, don't worry, everything will be okay. Surrounding ourselves with like minded people reinforces our beliefs. True. Um, I find that now as I thought I've left because I've left groups except I go to al right and I find that I'm very quiet because if I really said what I wanted to say I'm pretty sure it, it every all the literature has to be about uh approved that's what it is approved so yeah you still find that there. I mean, people don't like to hear something that makes them feel uncomfortable. And that's exactly what this is explaining, right? It doesn't make you feel comfortable to hear other people's views. And if you explore that, 
uh, you can understand why sometimes you don't feel comfortable, right? I know I didn't feel comfortable listening to other people, not when I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Now I feel like I'm so much more open-minded and I can, f even though I feel uncomfortable at times with something that is said, I try and sit back and understand where they're where that person is coming from and I don't shut it off as fast. I really have to work on it. Uh, it's not something that comes easy, but I, you know, it's something that I, at least I'm consciously aware of, please don't shut it off in my brain to, to continue to listen to that person. Um, Den Denial of Death, his Pul Pulitzer Prize winning book by Ernest Becker, right? Explores how death, anxiety, subconsciously triggers some of the worst aspects of human nature as we fight to cope with or deny inev inevitability. Death, that is hard for me. It's still hard for me. I can't get, I get up in the morning and I realize I can die. That's crazy. I didn't, I mean, be, as witnesses, we always thought, oh, well, we'll, you know, we'll see, we'll be in paradise. We'll see our loved ones again. That's how it, it kept me in because I wanted to see my father again. I wanted to see my dad. And, and I know what it feels like to be on the other side and feel sorry for someone like me, right? I would listen to people like me and say, oh, poor thing. She just doesn't get it. She doesn't understand that there is a life after death. Mm, yeah, I don't believe in aliens and I don't believe in invisible creatures at all. Okay, so I told you about KDP. I'm gonna change the subject. And I did KDP and I'm so proud of what I did, but I, <laughs> I got kicked out. I never get kicked out of anything. I'm like so, I try really hard to be really good and not like make any waves and you know, whatever. That's just, I, I mean, I'm very respectful. I don't even know how to cuss right. I can't say the F word for anything. I'm just so irritated with myself. I do say the F word when I argue with my husband though but not at him, right? I don't call him the name. I just say, ah, but that's it. Cause I can't really even say it. I don't do it right. It's just not there. And it doesn't even sound right. <sighs> I got kicked out of KDP, but you can still see some of my books and I did it special for pride, pride month. And, um, but I wasn't going to say anything really. I thought, well, you know, you'll find it, but I got kicked out. So you're not, you're not, you might not find it. Here we go. This is, I don't think you can even see it right because I have to flip it. Right. So we'll see if I can flip it as I'm doing my video. But, um, it says queer, no longer living in fear, breaking the chains year by year. I thought that was, I like that. That was really cool. I don't know why I got kicked out. And they don't have to tell you. So I've been trying to appeal, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's fine. And then look at, I love it. I did this in Canva. So you, I mean, I, this was really fun and I'll tell you why. Okay, here we go. I got another one. XJW and free queer, right? As can be living my truth for all to see. And that, I love it. I loved it. It was so much fun. And then I have, this beautiful soul on the other side, she, he, and they, I got to do that. That was, I mean, I've done a couple of them and these are considered low content. Now it's kind of hilarious and I'll see if I can try and figure out how to, um, my girls show me how I can do it. You know, you can, do, I, it, you know, you hit the little film button on the side and then you can record everything. And then I can show you where I am or where I was on Amazon. I'm no longer there because I got kept my, I got kicked out. I did this one. XJW Swedish Death Cleaning. That's right. Everybody should Swedish Death Clean. But ex especially Je X Jehovah's Witnesses. And it says my book of BS. Right? My husband came up with that one. And of course we have 
recycle, reuse, and repurpose. Yes, we will die and get rid of your stuff. These are low content. Low content means journals. How many times did we take notes at a district convention and a circuit assembly? Give me a friggin' break. Now you can take notes if you can still get them because I don't know if you can even get them. I, I got these just before they shut me down and I'm probably the only one that's gonna get them. But that's fine, I don't care. It's It was fun making. I enjoyed being creative. I love the creative part of being out, right? Because you don't have any sort of hold on that. I can do whatever I want. I can paint whatever I want. Um, that That is fun. And now I did this one. Now this one is XJW Healing, Progress Not Perfection. And then on the front it says, the head of a woman is a man. First Corinthians 11.3. Scientists say that the cranial capacity of a woman is 10% smaller than that of a man. So now this shows she's just not equipped for the role of headship. And there is Mr. Samuel Hurd's quotation. But you can't see anything. I'm, I'm going to have to, like I said, I'm going to probably have to switch it. Girls just want to have fundamental human rights. That's what I put on there, on the back, on the front. And then this one says equality for women. Now it's quote, a doctor is quoted, Dr. Elliot. The truth is that there are no universal species wide brain features that differ between the sexes. Rather, the brain is like other organs, such as the heart and kidneys, which are similar enough to be transplanted between women and men quite successfully. So that was my that was my point is that it doesn't matter. We're all the same organs are organs, brains are brains. Um, Dr. Elliot, whose books include pink brain, blue brain, how small differences grow into troublesome gaps. So that's the book that is highlighted at the back. And again, it's a low content journal, 120 pages, but I don't think you can get it. So and if you can, doesn't matter because I don't, I got kicked out. So I will not be doing any more low content um, books, which I'm pretty sure that <laughs> uh, Mr. Hurd is pretty happy about that. So I'm trying to appeal, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It, I will show you what I did as soon as I figure out how to do that, because I thought it was interesting. I think it's so fascinating how people on the inside can make money on Sophia and Caleb. So I was right next to Sophia and Caleb, which was quite funny. And I think maybe I I pissed some, some Jehovah's Witness off. But oh well, it was fun while I was doing it. And then I'll show you and maybe you can do it too. So I don't know, who knows? So I went and did research and found out that Amazon can shut you off any old time if they don't like you or if somebody doesn't like you, whatever. It was fun. And I got kicked out. So, hey, I never get kicked out of anything, really. I'm not much of a, a rebel. Unless, I mean, I got I kicked myself out of Jehovah's Witnesses, being one of Jehovah's Witnesses. But, you know, I did that myself. I left. That doesn't count, I don't think. Anyway. I hope you're doing good. I hope this helped you on your healing journey. Um, yeah, I'm just, I, sorry about yesterday. I couldn't, I couldn't do it all. <sighs> That's how it is. I'm a mom. I have two kids. I'm running around doctor's visits and getting, um, yeah, trying to get a job and trying to juggle everything up, juggle everything. I think if you're a mom, you understand. All right, loves, I hope all is well. Follow your bliss and be good humans.